So Spider-Man Shadow of the Green Goblin is a relatively new comic. The second issue came out like a couple days ago. And it's probably the best in continuity Spider-Man book right now. Um, Sal from Comic Pop said that. And I completely agree with him. Uh, I'm not counting Ultimate, obviously, because Ultimate is not in continuity. It's another universe. But, I mean, what do we have? We have a couple spinoffs. But the main Amazing Spider-Man book is so trash. This book, Shadow of the Green Goblin, it's like... It's pretty much like Spider-Man Month 2. Like, Peter is... 15 he's fought a couple of like his really famous rogues like vulture chameleon sandman but it's very early on very early on like he hasn't even met harry or gwen yet and like obviously it has to do with like green goblin and some interesting drama there i just i just really enjoy it i, I really enjoy it probably because it's written by dave mateus um jan dave mateus he's I mean, he made Craven's Last Hunt. He is arguably the GOAT Spider-Man writer. Him, Michelini, you could argue Straczynski. Um, those three are some of the, the greats that come to my mind. Obviously, other than like Lee and uh, Conway and Stern, you know, tons of great Spidey writers out there. But anyway, Dimiteus is awesome. And you can really tell that he just... It's just refreshing. It's refreshing to read a Spidey story written by someone who just knows their shit. Like the way he writes Peter's, the whole story is like told from the future, like from our current time, but it's like a flashback. So Peter's like narrating it. It's just told in such a beautiful way. And Dimiteus is such a great writer. Love him on any Spider-Man thing. Give it a shot. Only two issues. So catch up real quick and read it.